Usually, I teach a little bit in the opening segment to, um, to get your attention and let you know where we're going in this broadcast. But I'm going to cut this short because I want to get into a prophetic teaching that is not only prophetic because it's a now moment on God's calendar, but in my spirit and in my heart and in the Holy Ghost, I feel so strong. It's a prophetic moment for every one of you that are not only watching right now, say now, now, watching right now, but for you to pass on to everybody you know. This is a Holy Spirit prophetic moment that right now will begin to change your life in an amazing way. Right now, I declare your best is yet to come. Stay with me. This is an amazing teaching. Everybody, we're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. You know, I met somebody the other day and they said, I love watching you on because you're so excited. You're so full of energy. I got to tell you, don't even try to take notes today because I have so much to teach you that I've, I know in my heart and my spirit is a prophetic word for you. And if you look at God's calendar right now, we are beginning Passover and we are beginning the resurrection of our Messiah, Jesus. This is a now moment. Now, let me share with you real quick. We're talking about the now moment of first fruits. And I know most of you know this, but for those who don't, Passover is the time that Jesus died on the cross. He became our Passover lamb. During the time of Passover, the Jewish people, our Jewish brothers and sisters, were in slavery to the Egyptians. The Egyptians were the power of the world. God said, take the blood of the lamb and sprinkle it on the doorpost of your home. Jesus became our, as Gentiles, our Passover lamb. And then as God was delivering them from the power of the world, not only was he setting them free, Passover resurrection, when Jesus shouted, it is finished, is not only about setting us free from the wages of our sin, but it is setting us free from the limitation. That's what Egypt means. It's setting, the word Egypt means limitation. He's setting us free from the limits of this world, and we are beginning the last part of our journey in an end time transfer of wealth when the wealthy Egyptians were put in the hands of the Jewish people. Now, let me say this before I start reading scriptures. I'm going to talk a lot about finances and debt cancellation, but it's not just about money. When the Bible talks about wealth, when you have a good home, you're wealthy. When you have wonderful children, you're wealthy. When your family's serving God, you're wealthy. When Lion and Tiz and I receive the healing miracles, we're wealthy. So when we're talking about wealth, we're talking about everything, but it does include the, the Jewish people going from slaves and in poverty into having the, the wealth of the wicked put into their hands. And now we're talking about the end time transfer of wealth. Now listen to this. I read this, I think yesterday, that God laid this in my heart last night for, for this program today. Exodus eleven twelve, 12, Moses, or God speaking to Moses said, speak now in the hearing of the people. Speak now. Usually God says, speak to the children of Israel. But in this case, he said, speak now. This is a Moedim. This is an appointed time. This is a now, now, now moment in which God opens the windows of heaven. In Malachi 3, God says, return to me and I'll return to you. 
They said, how do we return? God says in tithes and in offerings. That word offering means three times a year, we come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. Three times, 30, 60, 100 fold. Remember, Jesus was a Jewish rabbi. So when he's speaking 30, 60, 100, 100 means unlimited. He's talking to Jewish people that understand this. When God says in Malachi, return unto me and I'll return unto you. They said, how do we return? The Jewish people had stopped bringing their first fruits. They had stopped keeping Shemitah, making the lamb be, be dormant for the seventh year. They stopped saying, God, we need you to be Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And when they did that, it opened the door for the Babylonians to come and defeat the, the Jewish people and bring them into captivity. Now they're back in Jerusalem and they say, God, how do we keep the enemy from defeating us? He said, return unto me. What he's saying is, don't forget it is I who gives you power in your hands. Now, I'm going to read this to you in a minute. But God says, don't forget America. Don't forget world. It is me, Jehovah Jireh, your provider, who gives you the power in your hands to gain wealth. So God says to Moses, say now. And he said, speak into their hearing." Speak into, the, not their ears. When, when you see this in Hebrew, it means speak into their spirit, their spirit of revelation. That's why Jesus said, some have eyes to see, but don't see. They have ears to hear, but they don't hear. But blessed are you who see and hear. That means you're not just hearing words, but you're receiving a revelation from the almighty God. And he says, now watch in Exodus 12. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses and they asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold and articles of clothing and the Lord, when they did what God told them to do. And you know, it, it just hits me. Jesus said, don't be hearers of the word only, but doers. How many of us know what the word of God says, but we don't do it because we haven't realized in our spirit it's a revelation. Folks, come unto me, 30, 60, 100 fold, and not empty handed, and I will open the unlimited power of God into every area of your life. This is not just scripture that is written down, it is rhema. It is the living word of God. And when they did, when they did what Moses told them to do, the Egyptians began the example of the end time transfer of wealth. And in a now moment, in a now moment, they went from slaves into walking into the promise, the journey to the promised land with the wealth of the world, which is stored up for the righteous. Now, we're going to show you something at the break here of how, just in a small way, when we receive a first fruit offering for you, we want to double down on that blessing and take a first fruit offering to the nation of Israel to save Jewish lives. You know, as you're watching this, we filmed this in advance, but last week I was in Miami with doing a banquet to stand with the Jewish people. And Governor Huckabee was there and uh, Governor DeSantos uh, sent, us, uh, sent us a video of we need to stand with the Jewish people. From there, I was supposed to go to Ethiopia, but I couldn't fly because I had surgery on my knee. But I want you to see your gifts to the nation of Israel literally reaching in to Bible, ancient, ancient Bible prophecy and making that prophecy come alive with Jewish people in the land of Ethiopia. Listen to what Sam has to say and know your best is yet to come. To my dear friends, Pastor Larry, Pastor Tiz, and all of the wonderful people at New Beginnings Church, and I'm sending you greetings and blessings from here in Gondar, Ethiopia. You know that in Project Aliyah, which you've supported over the years, 
our organization, Karen Ayesod, together with the State of Israel, the Ministry of Aliyah, the Jewish Agency, have been able to bring back Olim and Jews from Ethiopia to go to their ancient homeland that they've been yearning to return to after thousands of years. And with your help, we've been able to make that happen. We've been able to bring last year in 2022, 1,500 Olim, new immigrants from Ethiopia. This is truly the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And it's all thanks to your help and support. I'm thinking about you, Pastor Larry and Pastor Tiz, and all of you at New Beginnings Church, because you are playing an important and critical role right along with us in making the holy work that we do together in bringing Olim, making Project Aliyah happen, and fulfilling Bible prophecy. So I send you from here blessings. Toda Raba. Passover is God's appointed time to open the windows of heaven over your life. It's the first of three annual First Fruits offerings, and God uses these to bring an abundance of spiritual and financial blessing. You also have the assurance your offering will be put to work by rescuing Jewish lives through Project Aliyah and by providing Passover Seder meals for Holocaust survivors. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to make it this special First Fruits offering that will bless Israel. With your Passover offering of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you two copies of the Huck's newest book, Miracles by the Moment. This is an encouraging, informative account of how they tapped into God's healing promises in their time of deepest need. The second copy is for you to give away to someone who needs a miracle. With your offering of $135 or more, you'll also receive Tiz's Miracles by the Moment audio series on three CDs. It includes her personal testimony of overcoming cancer, anointed teachings on how to activate God's healing promises, and a special 101 Healing Scriptures CD, personally read by Tiz and set to beautiful worship music. These are inspiring resources that will encourage you to stand strong for your own miracle breakthrough. With your Passover offering of $500 or more, we will add this special edition Miracles by the Moment box set. It includes an attractive coffee mug, a miracles journal, and a matching pen for recording your personal God-given dreams, thoughts, and answers to prayer. The box is large enough to hold all the products in the miracle collection. With your generous offering of $1,000 or more, you'll also receive this beautiful miracles box of three different anointing oils from Israel. Anointing with oil is a biblical method for releasing God's healing power. In addition, we'll add this special miracle scripture box with 101 scripture cards, the same ones Pastor Tiz reads on the CD. All of these resources are included and will build the spiritual strength you need to believe God for divine health, miracle healing, and abundant blessing for your future. To receive your thank you gifts and to be a blessing to Israel, simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546. If you prefer, you can visit our secure website at larryhuck.tv where you can donate and choose your gifts online. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. The Passover window of blessing is passing by right now. So we encourage you to step out in faith and sow your very best first fruits offering. You'll be a blessing to Israel. You'll be fulfilling biblical prophecy and you'll be activating the promise God made in Genesis 12, 3. I will bless those who bless Israel. So please let us hear from you today and thank you again for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now let's rejoin Pastor Larry. You know, I say this all the time, how much we love you guys and how there's no, there, there are no words to, to express how much we appreciate 
that you're catching this now moment, this revelation of being a blessing to Israel. And But I gotta tell you that what God is doing in our lives and our family is beyond, beyond any words of description. That's why when God says in Malachi, when you teshuvah, when you return to me, I'll open the windows of heaven. But then he says, remember this, he says, but that's not enough. I'll rebuke the devourer. And I want you to think about that being the first of the first fruits, the avos, the father of all the first fruits, the 30, 60, 100 fold is Passover. And I want you to think about rebuking the devourer. Israel is not only in slavery in Egypt, but the Egyptians can take their lives at any moment. But what does God say? I want you to take a lamb, bring it to your house and put the blood on your door. And when I see the blood, I will, it literally in Hebrew reads, I'll stand in front of your home. I'll stand in front of your family. I'll stand in front of your children and I'll make the enemy, the angel of death, death to your, your life, death to your marriage, death to your children, death to your business. I'll make the enemy pass over you. You know, you notice that Tiz isn't with me right now. And the reason is she's in her final stages. She's cancer free, lion's cancer free. Everybody's doing good, but she's in her final stages of her treatment. And, and so today, as we're filming in the studio, today is her birthday. So keep her in prayer, send her a happy birthday. She's in the hospital getting her treatment because they want her to be able to receive the whole thing. And you know, I don't know if I should say this, but God does exceedingly abundantly. This second dose that she's scheduled, she was scheduled to go through, she's almost finished. And you know, it's much stronger treatment than the last. It's a preventative thing. And she's not even losing her hair. And if you know Tiz, that's a big deal. But when she found out, you know what, we're scheduled, we, we need you to go and do the treatment and do this. We were, she was scheduled to go in the studio and read you these scriptures that she held on to every day, our whole family held on to every day as we walked miracles by the moment. You know, we've seen miracles, folks, where we pray and boom, it's done. But that's why I, we, we felt it was so important to get this message to you that it wasn't pray and it's done. We, pr we were believing God for lying, you know, it's that they think it's this and that. We walked in the hospital and they said, he has a rare, really very rare form of leukemia. Found out later that no child that they treated with this kind of leukemia survived. He's, he was seven months old, he's five years old now. He's not only alive, but he's a genius. I mean, he's it's in, in, incredible. What Satan meant for evil, God used it for good. When Tiz um, got, the, got the word, she said, well, we need to do the second treatment just to make sure she was scheduled to go in the studio and read these. And at first when the doctor said, you know, we need to do this, it's a good idea, she was pretty set back. And then she got a hold of herself and the Lord got a hold of her and she said, you know what? I'm gonna kick the devil in the teeth. And she went right into the studio and recorded these scriptures that she held on to then and she holds on to now. And you know, I, I believe there's power in words and so when you listen to these, and, and I, I know this may sound a little hokey, but I would even, when you're not in the house, have them playing. When you're in the car, play them. When you're, when you're sitting there, play. Listen to these scriptures that Tiz is reading. Listen to these scriptures of miracles. But let it play in your house when nobody's there so when you walk in, you feel that presence of God. All right, I gotta get into the rest of this because this, this is debt cancellation, all right? All right, so listen to this. Exodus 12, now the children of Israel had done. You've got to do it. God could have made the Egyptians just give it to them, but God always wants you involved with his miracle. Don't worry about what you're gonna eat, where you're gonna sleep, but seek first King God and his righteousness. The word righteous means, God, tell me what acts of kindness I'm to do. Now listen to this. So they walked out of Egypt with all the silver and all the gold. And so people ask all the time, Pastor, do you believe that that story is really true? Well, have you ever seen the pyramids? We know that those were built by Jewish slaves. But I wanna give you something, listen to this. 
What the devil has stolen from you, when you decide you understand who the enemy is, he's got to pay it back. Several years ago, there was an Egyptian lawsuit against Israel calling for the return of the wealth that was taken when the Jews left Egypt, plus 3,000 years of inflation of that wealth. It went to court. And when it went to court, some court, they said, we've taken in account that 600,000 to 3 million Jewish slaves for, for 400 years, what you would owe them for back wages plus interest. And it came out that no matter how much they left Egypt with, you still owe them back wages. When you understand that this first fruit offering not only opens up over you and your family, unlimited, unlimited, you can't limit this. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, overflowing, where you don't have room enough to receive the blessing of God. God still has more because when we understand that God, our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And we come before him. We come before him during this time of Passover with our first fruit offering and we use a first fruit offering to save Jewish lives. It's unlimited blessing. And let me give you that prophecy. I started this series this month. God said, He's looking for those that he can raise up like, like the cream to the top in the next two years of unlimited political blessing, spiritual blessing, and financial blessing. And once again, in ancient Hebrew, there is no word for coincidence. Right now, we are entering into Passover. We're entering into the power of his resurrection. And you, when you are, because you're watching, there's, it's not a coincidence, you're entering in to the greatest time of God's blessing in every area in your life. I want to pray with you before we go. Stay with us because you're watching because God is saying to you, your best is yet to come. I'll be right back. Passover is God's appointed time to open the windows of heaven over your life. It's the first of three annual First Fruits offerings, and God uses these to bring an abundance of spiritual and financial blessing. You also have the assurance your offering will be put to work by rescuing Jewish lives through Project Aliyah and by providing Passover Seder meals for Holocaust survivors. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to make it this special First Fruits offering that will bless Israel. With your Passover offering of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you two copies of the Huck's newest book, Miracles by the Moment. This is an encouraging, informative account of how they tapped into God's healing promises in their time of deepest need. The second copy is for you to give away to someone who needs a miracle. With your offering of $135 or more, you'll also receive Tiz's Miracles by the Moment audio series on three CDs. It includes her personal testimony of overcoming cancer, anointed teachings on how to activate God's healing promises, and a special 101 Healing Scriptures CD, personally read by Tiz and set to beautiful worship music. These are inspiring resources that will encourage you to stand strong for your own miracle breakthrough. With your Passover offering of $500 or more, we will add this special edition Miracles by the Moment box set. It includes an attractive coffee mug, a miracles journal, and a matching pen for recording your personal God-given dreams, thoughts, and answers to prayer. The box is large enough to hold all the products in the Miracle Collection. With your generous offering of $1,000 or more, you'll also receive this beautiful miracles box of three different anointing oils from Israel. Anointing with oil is a biblical method for releasing God's healing power. 
In addition, we'll add this special miracle scripture box with 101 scripture cards, the same ones Pastor Tiz reads on the CD. All of these resources are included and will build the spiritual strength you need to believe God for divine health, miracle healing, and abundant blessing for your future. To receive your thank you gifts and to be a blessing to Israel, simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546. If you prefer, you can visit our secure website at larryhuck.tv where you can donate and choose your gifts online. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800 978 8546. The Passover window of blessing is passing by right now. So we encourage you to step out in faith and sow your very best first fruits offering. You'll be a blessing to Israel. You'll be fulfilling biblical prophecy and you'll be activating the promise God made in Genesis 12, 3. I will bless those who bless Israel. So please let us hear from you today and thank you again for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now let's rejoin Pastor Larry. God gave me a prophetic word and I don't usually do this, uh, it, it, but it's been so strong on me that those of us who are, this, this right now, Passover is the Avos. It's the father. It's the birthing of 30, 60, unlimited. But it's going to go on for two years. And God is getting ready to open up over you the windows of heaven. That's why you're watching right now. And so normally we talk about spiritual and financial. But in that, I, I, I keep saying, and I think, why should I, should I say that? It's also political, political power spiritual power, financial power. You know, a couple months ago, we had the ex-ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer, here with us. And we, Ron asked if we could go to a cowboy game. And a good friend of ours has a suite there. So we went to the cowboy game. And as we were there, the cowboys are about to score. And we we're all excited. And all of a sudden, uh, Ambassador Dermer says, Pastor Larry, there's a phone call. And I said, who is it? And he goes, you know, we're about to score. He goes, just take it. So I got on the phone and I said, hello, this is Pastor Larry. And I heard this heavy Israeli accent in English, Pastor Larry, my friend. And you know who it was? Prime Minister Netanyahu. And he said, I want to tell you and Tiz and all your partners how much we in Israel and Jews around the world love you and appreciate you. And you know something? If you're getting a thank you, God bless you from the Prime Minister of Israel, and I love Prime Minister Netanyahu. Can you imagine the God bless you and blessing that you're gonna get from Almighty God as we're fulfilling Bible prophecy? Let me pray for you before we go. Father, we pray for Tiz. We thank you that you're giving her a great day of rest. And all of our partners, Father, I lay hands on their fruit, first fruit offering. This is an offering of life. This is an offering that breaks every curse and releases every blessing in their home, their families, their children, their health, their bodies, their businesses, their ministries, whatever it is. Father, this is the open, unlimited window of heaven into their lives. Father, your first promise is, I will bless those who bless Israel. As you're saving Jewish lives around the world, God is getting ready to move in your life as never before. And take it prophetically, your best is yet to come. I'm Pastor Larry from Tiz and I. We love you guys. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.